guys. See, Fusick, welcome back. I, uh, if you looked at the thumbnail, uh, it's all about uh, life insurance, mortgage section, final expense, you know, learning how to succeed in selling those products is easy peasy. I mean, I don't think it's, it's very difficult. I think that everybody can do it, especially if you have the right coaching. We find there are other areas that most people struggle with that we really want to focus on for the next couple of months. So now here checking out my new uh, trees that I planted here. I got a, I got a um, tangerine tree and a lemon tree. And we have lemons on the tree actually. So, uh, uh, and it's only been planted for a couple of months. So I'm out here checking that out. I just want to kind of give you a bit of an intro to the video today so you understand that it was actually lost footage. I intended on putting this at the other video or, or releasing it the very next week. Forgot all about it, we got busy. And I, I believe that what Angela has to say is very valuable in that whole exchange. So there's several nuggets throughout the video that you're going to want to uh, be a part of. So stick with the end. Give us a like and a comment if you want to. It helps us and encourages us to continue to do more. We appreciate all of you and we appreciate the relationship we have with all of our YouTube subscribers. Thank you very much. Let's get on with the video. Hermaphroditically, what is that word? Sealed uh, environment. Angela, I just thought I wanted to bring you in. I just got finished telling these folks on our YouTube channel, our subscribers, the people that uh, I've been putting these videos up for now, I don't know, a couple, two or three years, that this may very well be the last YouTube video because, you know, I was, took about a month or so to reflect on, you know, I don't want to be the, you know, sales, and we can talk about sales and tips and techniques and all that stuff all you want to, but there's plenty of that garbage out there. My point is, is that you can have all that knowledge. And we've had agents that go, that sit on our coaching calls every single day, weeks after week, month after month, and still end up doing nothing not even quitting they just do nothing they just sit there and, yeah. you know like, like they like they need to be part of a club or something and never take action and and it comes down to you know first of all if they're doing that they have another income source obviously so they haven't really sold themselves out to being in this business they're too they're in a, they're in a comfort area or whatever with their current job that there's no reason to to they don't have to make it work they don't have to succeed and you know we know what we're fighting for here. And I want to just give you a couple of minutes of your, of your comments. Well, you know, it, uh, <clears throat> we, we meet a lot of people that I'm, I'm always struck by a little bit when they come here and they've come from, uh, jobs or positions or businesses where they have, um, just give it it all you know they're working 60 70 80 hours a week and they're really tired of that so they want to build something that they can uh, have more of a lifestyle with and then they come here and they don't even give this 20 hours a week or 10 hours a week they struggle with finding their focus and finding their way and it's not for like you said it's not for a lack of training and it's not for a lack of you know, information, it, I, and I don't know where you dig down to find that. I, and I hate to say that, like, that is that, gosh, I hate, hope that's not the answer to the question is, like, I don't know, because we have always been so focused on the things that we wanted and where we were going, that we were willing to, we were willing to just fully embrace and commit to what we were doing here and you know, learn along the way. And maybe it's because we didn't have a job and we didn't have a, a 401k money coming in or annuity money or, you know, nobody else was paying the bills. But it's not for a lack of training or information. And some people, I think, confuse the amount of information and, and you know, they go down this rabbit hole of, I don't have enough information, then they get a lot of information, then they're overwhelmed by the information, then they don't know what information to focus on, and then it doesn't work because, right, because they, they didn't get support. To. Right. You, you only get yourself in those situations when you don't have to go out and make money. If you're dead broke and they're coming for your car, or then re you know, foreclosing your house, I like that movie, we like this one, was that movie? <laughs> no, not the money pit, but the other one, where <laughs> Dick, Dick and Jane. Dick when, they, when they go in there to store to rob the place, and he says, honey, we got the foreclosure letter this morning, and she was a whole lot more adamant about wanting she to She was a thing. whole lot more. Yeah, uh, because they were, they, they were going to take their house away from them. And that's, that comes down again, right. that, that, that must, I talked about earlier, or need to, must have to, those things that are fuel to your desire. 
you know those, those you know, it gets it gets it gets it moving it gets it gets it in right. motion people that don't have to get it done generally don't no and i think that there's which leads to the next group of people that i think you have to be very careful. I think you have to really kind of have a, a you know, heart to heart with yourself and ask yourself if, if you are the type of person that has just, you know, you talk about it all the time, kind of shrinking your dreams to fit your wallet. But I think that what a lot of people do is they shrink their, even their standards, their living standards. You know, suddenly people are, you know, oh, well, we used to live on ten thousand dollars a month and now we only have eight thousand dollars a month coming in and i know i've got to get this thing started but we find a way to function within you know eight thousand dollars a month and then when eight thousand dollars a month shrinks to five thousand dollars a month instead of saying okay look this is it i'm gonna go and and make a disaster of this on the phone or on text or on video or face to face until i figure it out instead they say well let's just figure out how to live on five thousand and then when 5000 shrinks to your social security, which is like, I don't know, two grand, I guess, if you're lucky, uh, then people say, well, we have to live, we have to live within our social security. Yeah. I think after 40 years, my, my might top just over 2000 bucks. Right. And so I think, you know, you have to ask yourself, like Steve has said a couple of times now, you have to ask yourself, why are you doing this? You, you know, and that's a conversation for you and god or whomever or your spouse or yourself maybe that's the most important conversation you have to have with yourself is go look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself what do i have to do to, to do this no yeah, and ask you so what are you giving up by being a slave to somebody else's dream to, to someone's job you sold out so you didn't have to what are you giving up in your life you know that you that in order to be in that position yeah right and even the people that say sometimes uh we hear this every once in a while well, you know, if I don't, uh, I've been doing this for a week now, and if it doesn't turn around in the yeah. next, you know, 20 minutes, I'm going to have to go out and get a job. I've already told them, if that's you, don't start. That's my favorite. Don't start. Don't start. 90 days. Yeah. 90 Minimum days. Minimum 90 days. 90 days that you're going to have Not to. Not sitting and doing nothing. I'm actually, right. actually working. 90 days, the clock starts when you're yeah. actually leads in hand, yeah. uh, on the phone, sending the text, doing whatever you need to do to actually get get to do, do doing something yeah. as if you were clocking in at your job you know if you took a new job tomorrow and they said okay you're going to start on august 1st they're not going to start paying you tomorrow they're going to start paying you on august 1st when you actually show up they pay you when you start not when you not when you say okay so yeah. i think that that's when you start you have to give it 90 days and that means 90 days of you know financial investment 90 days of time investment not as just on if trainings. it were a job right not time, just on time is actually working not yeah. training commitment. and a solid commitment as if you paid a million dollars for the franchise and you know right like we did when we had that embroidery business we, yeah. we you know it wasn't you know we didn't we didn't uh we didn't have to check our desire because <laughs> we had two hundred fifty thousand dollars of your grandma's money on the line and we would have to live that for a lifetime if we had failed so that that fueled our uh, you know our, our desire to be in business for ourselves. We probably would have quit many times over in that business because yeah. it was very difficult to 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 make a living in that business. Had we had the option, we didn't have the option because we had somebody else put up the money. That's the thing is is that the, uh, again that's why it's so so important for you to to crystallize you know why you're doing this. If it's a job, if it's something something to do between jobs, don't start. You waste your money. I mean, we know what we're fighting for every day. We know why you pick up that, pick up that phone and make the dials, and you know why we you know why we now texting and now whatever it is to, to do our virtual sales. We know why we continue to do it because it supports the the dream lifestyle that we choose to live, and we will not accept anything less than our dream lifestyle. Life will only give you what you're willing to accept, and we will not accept a nine to five job and selling out working for 40 years, retiring on some crappy 2000 bucks a month, you know, dead broke, you know, barely making, making ends meet to then die. We only have one life to live and we're going to live it to our fullest, to, to our, to its fullest. If, if, you know, if it kills us trying. Yeah. And that being said, even though we may not be exactly where we want to be, have a, having achieved everything that we want to achieve, we have a pretty not amazing lifestyle. Yeah. And you know, the more, uh, the more that you get addicted to, sounds like a funny word for this, but the more that you get addicted to 
being comfortable and getting to kind of call your own shots and being able to call your own hours. Uh, the more you are willing to do what you need to do to keep it. It's funny you just said that because I, you know, we, we've always been goal or, goal oriented. My yeah. mentor that, that was also yours years ago, you know, he would get a recognition and he wouldn't, it was a ring, hundred thousand dollar ring, you know, annual ring. And he wouldn't even wear it. He would put it in, put it in a trophy case because he was focused on the next goal. He was, he never allowed himself to settle for the, for that goal. He put it away, stopped thinking about it, was focused on the next goal. And why I'm bringing that up was, is that, you know, we, we're, we're a lot like that. You know, we've been driven for years, for seven, eight, nine years. Everything that we have today is a result of that determination yeah. towards a goal of being successful in life insurance. None, nothing we have now came from before life insurance. So yeah. the lifestyle that we live is 1,000% a result of the commitment that we made to succeed in the life insurance business, both as producers and agency builders. So yes, we do have far bigger goals, but we had one of our agents to our house a couple of weeks ago, and you know, and 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 we take a lot of what we have for granted. I do, maybe not you, but because uh, I'm always focused on a bigger, you know, a nicer place, a little more property, you know, whatever it is. And you know, he pulled in the front yard and he goes, "Wow." Yeah is there you know you think that i could succeed in life insurance enough to have this and it struck me not from a prideful uh, position but to realize that hey dummy you know you have actually accomplished a few things and yet no we're not done yet but be what is that be uh be be uh, well, content not content content but not satisfied yeah whatever in a large way we've been blessed yeah. in our lives we're not done yet by any means in fact, we, we've just rededicated ourselves again for another five years. We're all in. We, we're not done by any means. We're working harder today than we did five years ago. But we are. But I recognize the fact that, that you know, we are blessed. We've done a lot, and we've been rewarded for it. If you're willing to make the equal sacrifice and commitment that we made. You know, we worked this business seven days a week for a long time long time and we didn't get here knowing not you know, knowing we weren't selling insurance it. every day but we, 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 no. we were thinking about succeeding in life insurance every day and we didn't get here we didn't get here like here uh by knowing knowing all of this then no we started out you know i can remember doing your packets for your appointments and because i knew nothing oh my god it was i was so nervous every time you would go on an appointment because i would be wondering whether or not i <laughs> the stuff, right? Yeah. Oh my God! Did I send them right through with the right? And that was back when know? we were doing we weren't doing any virtual. It was all face to face. I get yeah. I get in my truck. It, you know, was yeah. burning. You know, thirteen, <laughs> you know, ten, thirteen miles a gallon was if was, was, was I was You're going downhill in neutral. <laughs> you know, I drive an hour and a half to two hours to an appointment and get porched yeah. and have to drive back home and and come home with nothing. And we needed the money back then. Yeah. You know. And now it's mostly virtual, so we, the people aren't experiencing that, and, and they and they need to understand how blessed they are that they are not experiencing that. All I liked face to face a lot, and and miss it in in, in certain regards because it was much more relationship yeah. building and face to face. Uh, it did eliminate the car, the, the expense, yeah. the travel time, and now we can. That's why our incomes, uh, you know, that we're seeing on our our, our team right now have tripled. Because they have more time to be face to face with clients, because they're not there's no right. travel there's no travel time, so that that speaks directly to virtual. Right. Virtual. It, it, these guys are making tremendous amounts of income, and it's because they can work three or four days. But that but those three or four days, they're face to face with clients with no travel time. Right. They're not losing two or three hours going to appointments, and and because the entire United States is their market. Exactly. Yeah. Because when you're driving, you're doing face to face. You, you yeah, can only drive a couple there. hours. Right. I, I used to go three hours to Chico, and that was a big deal. Most people would do an hour to an hour and a half, and so you were limited geographically to what that area would produce in leads. Right. To get the number of leads that you needed to set the number of appointments you needed, you needed to sit with people and write the applications. Now you can get a non-resident license in any state in the country for a couple hundred bucks or less. Some states are fifty bucks or less. Uh, and and the whole world is your the whole United States is your oasis, so there are, and there are thousands of leads in our inventory that are exclusively only available to our agents. By the way, so they can they can say I want to work in Nebraska today, or I'm going to start in, in Florida and I'm going to work to work work all the way to Hawaii based on time zones. So it's a much more efficient business model than it used to ever be. That's a totally different uh, reason Absolutely. for a video, but um, I mean it really is. 
And so now you're, I mean, we were, we were jokingly, la joking last night around the dinner table about that movie. Um, will we always be closing? Oh, Glen, Berry, Glen, Glen Gary, Glen, Glen Ross. Ross. And that's the point. <laughs> it's that a, a salesman's dream is to always be closing, always be pitching the products. Right. Not sitting in the car for an hour and a half driving. No. So virtual has given us that. It's a, it's, yeah. a, it's a paradigm shift in the industry. Anyways, <laughs> I can talk about that because we're passionate about it. And that's yeah. the other thing you have to have. You have to, be, you have to be passionate about, you know, living life on your own terms. And it has to be worth it. You have to be willing to go to, to run through walls, go weeks without sales, right? The frustration of, and that, it wouldn't matter if you're in an insurance business or, you're, or, you, or you have a, you know, sandwich shop down the street. Tough times are coming, and the only way you can sorry, Minnie's crossing the, crossing the <laughs> chasm here. here you, oh, there she goes. She's getting warm. She's getting warm. The only way you're going to make it is to be able to clearly crystallize the reason why you're willing to do this. Because Angela, I find that if, you know, if people know if I do X, I'm going to get Y, then they and they're confident in that and in, in that they can do it that that uh, puts them into action mode. If they're not confident they can do it and they don't believe that if, I, if, that if they do a certain action, they're gonna receive the reward, they're not gonna move. So this is why we do it. I mean, this is what this whole video was about was, this is why we do it, right? This is why we're in the insurance business because we've always seen it as a vehicle to our dream lifestyle, period. Yes, it's noble. Yes, what we do matters. Yes, we get paid very, 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 very well, uh, crazy well. Uh, yes, there's residuals on some products. Yes, you can build your own agency. All those things, that's, but that's what makes it the opportunity that it is, right? Because you have the, all those different in income sources. But the reason why we stay in the business, the reason why I got in the business, was I did not want to work a nine to five job. So my entire life, I've, I've, I've spent running away from that. Right? Even the times where I was dead broke and had to go get a job. But not running away from the work. No, not the work, the, the, the lifestyle. I did not I want to go people, in and ask somebody if I could, you know, go home and take care of my sick kid. Yeah, I think the problem is, is that people confuse uh, having someone tell you what to do from nine to five with having to still show up and do the work. Yeah. Well, just because you don't want to, just because you don't want to have a yeah. job. No. A traditional clock in job doesn't mean that you don't have to come here and, no. and, and do the hard work. And maybe that's, maybe that's the conversation that's that point. you have to have with yourself is, are you shying away from somebody work. else telling you, right? Yeah. Or are you just looking for an easier path and, you know, stop looking for easy. My right. parents used to tell me that all the time. Choose your heart. Right. Some choose people your heart. choose right. your heart. Yeah. Some people being uh, in business for yourself is always going to be more difficult right. than going to a plug in a, a job at nine o'clock in the morning, clocking yeah. out at five and forgetting about it. That's why I said earlier, we thought about this business seven days a week. We didn't always yeah. work this, in, in this business seven days. We thought about how to get better and how to increase our income seven days a week. Oops. This is not a get rich quick scheme. You can be a get rich slow deal. Uh, if you're willing to apply yourself, many people have become multimillionaires in the insurance business by running, by being producers or by building their own agency. But you're right, and that's, 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 a, that's such a great, an incredible point. If you're, if, if you look at this like I'm in the insurance business because I, I, I can make a thousand dollars per sale, and man, that's gonna be great. And you know, I, I you know, I, I, so easy, easy, so easy. Than my oh job. man, I mean, I, 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 I can do it whenever I want to do it, and you know, if I don't have to, if I want to take three or four days off, I can do that. All those things may be true, but uh, it's not a get rich quick scheme. Uh, yes, you can work when you want to work, but at the end of the day, you got to work. Right. Still got to log the and time. And you have to earn the right to be in that situation where you can work three yeah. or four days a week. When you're first starting out, it's not going to be that way. Not if you want to make any kind of money at all. You might have to work seven days a week. It's going to be more difficult than a nine to five job in, in, initially, but, but the, the reward rewards are worth it. Yeah, the reward is bigger. Yeah. Oh, much bigger. Okay. Much bigger. You're, you're dying of the heat. I'm getting, to I'm getting a little sweaty. But we're sitting in our back. Do you know something? It's nice. When I came out here, I would go put my feet in the pool. Guess what was in our trees right behind you? Those, those, uh, those hawks two again. hawks were playing. Yeah. I think they're putting their eggs in our. Uh, oh, I hope so. Because they were all. Oh, that's really. That sad. would be fun. That Baby be hawks. Sad. They're noisy. I know. They get up there talking to each other. Yeah. And then at night we have owls. Yeah. And then on Thursday, uh, there was a turtle. Protected. 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 It was a gopher turtle. It was fantastic and many chased it and then uh friday we had bunnies there were bunnies uh, along the side yard 
and I've had a cold all week. Yeah. So it's been. And so now we're gonna go do the other thing that you love doing on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Is we're gonna go get in the Jeep. And we're gonna take a little country ride. Take a drive. Yeah. Yeah. And yesterday morning. We, I was out here doing the pool deal. We were, I was working yeah. on the yard a lot yesterday. Yeah. You went in there and you had a couple of virtual appointments, wrote a couple yeah. of apps around our lifestyle. Taking a dip in the pool. We swam, we cooked out, you ran into a couple of appointments. Yeah. But you see what I'm saying? We built our, we worked our business around our family, not the other no. way around. And by the way, uh, let's see if I can do this while this thing is live. I'm not sure I can. Maybe I can. But over there, in that corner over there, right over there is Minnie. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's taking oh, a hey, rest. Hey, Mindy. Hi, Mindy. I'm what are cooling you? I'm off, Dad. Oh, it's hot out here, Dad. I'm coming. Okay, come on. Well, they want to hear from you, Min. Come on. Come on. No. They want you. You want to talk to them about why we do this business, Mindy? Yeah, because of bones, Dad. I need I bones. Need bones. I got to have special treats. All right. Okay. Anyways, say goodbye, Angela. Uh, hope Bye you got some out of this video. Uh, do me a favor. The only reason I'm asking this is that if you're liking the video, even better, making a comment, it lets me know that you really care. Blessed. We've done a lot and we've been rewarded for it. And that should tell you that yes, you can, if you're willing to make the equal sacrifice and commitment that we made. 